are steadfast as an administration in fighting illicit brews and drug abuse. And we want to thank the Church of Christ, including our SEK Church, Kwa Vile Tube Ungana Kusaidiana. Watoto wetu, Kwanza Vijana, Walikuwa Mepotea. If we had not made a decision to fight these brews the way we have done, in another 10 years, we have, would have lost an entire generation. Vijana wetu walikuwa na lala kwa mitaro. Wamepotea. Wengine wamepoteza macho. Wengine vijana wameo wasichana warembo. Bibi mdogo wamelala kwa kitanda. Kijana nala chini ya kitanda. Ni ujinga si ujinga. And we were losing families. But I'm happy families are back. Men have taken responsibility to take care of their wives and their children. They are productive, they are working, we are very happy. And we want to ask the support of the church. Your grace continue being the conscience of the nation. Continue playing your right, rightful role of oversight. Where we as an administration, you feel we have not gotten it correctly, please speak out. The church can gather and say, why are our community and I know the Deputy President will be passionate about this, being ravaged by drunkenness and illicit brews. The church has an answer. It can gather and say, no, I went to my village recently, and women of my village came out and decided there will be no bar and nobody selling illicit brews around here. And they went to challenge the chief and everybody in the village. Some men who are struggling say, I hold a license. They say, you hold a license, but not a license to destroy our children and they closed all those things. Our prayers are with you and the government. And especially, as His Grace said, when you do fight drug and substance abuse, we are ever so grateful. That is part of the mandate of the church and you as a Christian and also as a leader, we want to say thank you that you have always accepted to do that.